horse flies taking over your backyard, not to mention the smell of sewage. Who wants to barbecue in those conditions, Andy? I can tell you one person for sure. Her name is Ruby Gonzalez. She says the stench and the trash have to go. She also says a nearby restaurant is to blame. Let's get the rest of the story from our Crystal Dominguez. Spending a fortune getting rid of the rodents. You know, there's possums, there's rats, there's mice, there's cats, there's birds. You name it, it's in that trash can. Right behind me is a dumpster that sits about 50 yards behind the Jalisco restaurant on Castores. And right behind the dumpster is the home of Ruby Gonzalez, who says this issue has been going on far too long. When you drive through there, the sewer is so bad and the horse flies, you just want to puke. Over the past five years, Gonzalez says the issues behind her home on Hitchington Post Lane have gotten worse. When I bought this house, like I said, 31 years ago, there was nothing but, I guess, grass, weeds behind my house. The restaurant opened about 12 years ago. She says she can no longer enjoy her backyard or grill outside. It stinks 90% of the time. You barbecue and come back inside real quick because the horse flies are just overwhelming. She says throughout the year she's reached out to city officials, but nothing's really been done. Miguel Leon, owner of the Jalisco restaurant, says they're under new ownership and are making changes. He says, we were not aware of the situation, but we will try to do the most we can to keep our community content. As far as overfill of our trash bin, there has been a numerous amount of locals dumping trash in our bin, which makes it hard for us to maintain. Crystal Dominguez, Action 10 News. Code enforcement went out to Gonzalez's home this afternoon to take pictures. They say the smell is not from sewage, but from grease traps next to the dumpster. They're also looking to find out who is responsible for the trash between the dumpster and Gonzalez's fence.